Well, that was annoying. <laughs> Camera fell over. I wonder how far through making that tent it, it fell over. I have made it to the campsite here, here at Leo Carrillo. Down there is the entrance. I got this nice little nook under the tree. I'm gonna put my tent right there. It's gonna be real nice. Then I got a little campfire set up here. I actually got the whole website to myself because I wanted electricity and right there is the electricity port. So I'm gonna plug my bike in there overnight chain it to the actual contraption there and uh, let it charge overnight all right gonna set up my tent and do all that sort of stuff so uh stand by Well, that was annoying. <laughs> Camera fell over. I wonder how far through making that tent it, it fell over. And the tent, Scorpion sent me the wrong instructions. What's that about? All right, let's get my sleeping bag and all my sleep setup done. This right here is my sleeping pad. So for a sleeping bag, when I was younger, back in 2005, I did a survival school. It's called Boulder Outdoor Survival School. I'll put some pics up right now. So Boulder taught me a lot. It was a 14 day field course in Utah. It started in low desert, ended in high mountains. And it was primitive survival living. And all we had wool blanket, a poncho, and a knife for 14 days. So my sleeping bag is a poncho and a wool blanket. I already put the wool blanket in the poncho, so I'm just gonna throw it in the tent. It's honestly gonna be too warm for me tonight. I'm probably just gonna sleep on top of my sleeping bag in the clothes. My pillow. Now, I probably shouldn't have blown that up. I probably should have used the uh, sleeping pad bag to blow this up because the moisture in your breath actually isn't very good for insulation but like I said it's hot so whatever. Well last night got kind of cold actually. Got a buff, two buffs, and just some rags and stuff. My charger. My clothes are all in here in this dry bag. I fit all my clothes in here. I got uh, pants, long johns, extra socks, extra underwear, um, some gloves, beanie, another shirt, riding shorts. I think that's it. Sandals. It's a Baofeng UV5R with an extended antenna. Now I can listen to the police, the fire department, search and rescue, everything on this thing. Every survivalist, every bug out person needs to have a radio. Definitely get yourself one, they're super cheap. But I could also get tunes. Which 
I'll listen to later when I'm not filming. On the other side here, towel, quick dry towel, super lightweight, more rags, first aid, cutting board, small little cutting board. All right, I got my mug here. I took this mug on that survival school trip. The Sea Knock bladder with basically a uh, Sawyer type gravity filter for water. Now, I'm not gonna need this this trip because I'm at a campsite and there's water, but if I'm out in a desert somewhere, I'll definitely need it. Extra bladder. Little grill, probably not gonna be using this because I got a uh, mountain house food for me tonight. This is my cook system. Titanium spoon, titan or a steel tin, jet boil with extra gas. And I'll leave that out because I'm actually gonna make some food soon. There it is. Boom. I got this mola pouch. Opens up like this. Oh, I got all sorts of stuff in here. I got like a fire starter. I got a body wipes if I don't have access to a shower. Sunscreen, soap, a chapstick, lighters. Oh, I might have already said that. Sanitizer nail clippers, some bath stuff. Um, I also have a, another bath bag with my toothbrush, and, you know, all that random stuff, shampoo and whatnot. And then the last thing, besides my food, so I got this power bank right here, RAV power, and it's uh, 20,000 milliamp hour. A little heavy, but it's worth it to charge my phone and everything else. Oh, one last thing, I almost forgot. Got the most important book of all time. And uh, this book, it tells the future. Got my holy Bible. It's one of the reasons I wanted to come out here. I really wanna just take some time and finish reading this. I haven't fully read the Bible yet. You know, just I'd say in the past two years, I really started getting close to the Lord and I figured I just need some time alone out in the wilderness. It's kind of one of the reasons I got the bike and started all this adventuring. So yeah, I'm gonna spend some time a good book and then I got a notepad and some pens in here too all right let's finalize camp and get some food going going for a beef stew tonight I've never made one of these so let's do this one and one third cup stir the white wait five minutes I'm gonna try to block as much of this wind as I can all right gotta let this boil I got this little pot cleaner, which is pretty cool. It's got a brush on one end. It's got like the really sturdy plastic on the other end. It's a MSR. It's, re it's really good. I haven't used it yet, but it seems like it'll be really good. I bought some barbecue chips earlier. Full moon today. I did not know that. All right, I'm gonna turn this off. I'm wait for this to boil. Well, I didn't get me pouring it into here, but I poured the boiling water into here and now I gotta wait five minutes. And it's time to stir it and then chow down. First time ever having one of these. Gotta stir it again. You put too much water. Oh well, it is a stew after all. Got my titanium spoon. All right, let's give it a taste. Mmm, that's good. Hot. Oh. Mmm. I like that a lot. probably wait a minute before I eat this. All right, I'm going to enjoy my meal and watch some uh, some uh, podcasts. I'll talk to you guys as I'm getting into bed.